My name is Jeff Nishinaka. I'm a paper sculptor. I've been doing it for about 35 years now and um, grew up in Los Angeles. A sculpture is three-dimensional, but the work I do is more in relief, so I'm kind of like between 2D and 3D. So it's not like you can walk around a sculpture that I make. You basically have to sit from straight on. Everything I do is very labor-intensive. When I cut these big pieces out, I have to control my breathing. I can't even talk. I am a big Game of Thrones fan, and I am hooked. It's, it's I think, one of the most amazing shows that I've ever seen. You never know what's going to happen next. There are a lot of cliffhanger moments, and then there are moments where you just you see him just falling off the cliff, like, oh my god, OK, well, that's that. That character's gone. The reason why I chose this particular scene is because it really does have a huge emotional impact. I mean, there's this crazy white walker dude who's raising his hands, and he's like bringing these people back to life, these zombies. It's kind of one of those like, oh my god moments. You see Jon Snow, and he's like speechless. White walker, white paper. I thought, you know, I can do this. I do the research. I actually got in front of the TV and started taking pictures of it. His epic moment is when he raises his hands, right? So you have to think a lot about anatomy and about how things work, even how the muscles are working in his back, because if the muscles aren't working in his back, he can't pull his shoulders back. So then I have to blow up a drawing to that exact size, because my drawings have to be the same size as the finished sculpture. In order for me to create texture, I basically have to cut the texture. And it's not just a matter of putting down a bunch of abstract shapes or odd shapes and just you know throwing them down and bam, it's done. It's actually designing the shapes so that everything works together in light and shadow. I can't wait to see it in the environment with the lighting. That's what completes it. That's it. I mean, that's that's what is that's the moment of truth. 